Okay, so on the bench this morning we've got for repair a Park Air um, VHF aircraft radio um, transceiver. Um, this particular one is um, pre-programmed with different aircraft channels. Uh, this type of equipment you see um, in the control tower of airports. Um, everything from doing air traffic control services right the way through to um, speaking with aircraft that have already landed on the ground, in the air, um, and obviously this is the equipment that's used to talk from the ground to the aircraft and also to receive the aircraft communications as well. So this is what typically is located within the systems cabinet at air traffic control um, of most major airports and small airports across the world. Um, and this is obviously in this context a rack mounted um, piece of equipment as well. Um, we've got it on the bench at the moment for repair because it's coming to me exhibiting various fault conditions one of which is that it buzzes like hell when you switch it on and the other is that the fan at the back is making some animal noises uh, but one of the faults that we've seen straight away even before we turn it on and spec test it on the Marconi is that the electrolytic capacitor in the power supply is leaking and uh, I don't know if you can see that terminal there on the left of the capacitor but that's leaking that's the main reservoir capacitor for the power supply is that and uh, we've got the bridge rectifier here and the main reservoir cap uh, which supplies a smoothed DC unregulated voltage to the regulators at the back and uh, they in turn then supply different supply rails through um, these regulators to various parts of the system. So we'll go ahead and switch it on. We've just wound the variac up, so we're okay to switch on. Uh, we've got a probe across the capacitor, so I can show you the ripple on the capacitor. Uh, we've got a frequency in on the Marconi, uh, which is set to one of the memory channels within the the device. So if we switch it on, we've got the receiver. Um, we can spec check that. So yeah, it's working. Interface receiving. But uh, if we look at the oscilloscope uh, that we've got currently connected across the reservoir cap, we've got quite a significant ripple um, at the moment. That's on 10 volts per division. So if we were to uh, adjust that now, uh, we can clearly see that's at uh, 1 volt per division and uh, there's some significant ripple there. And you can see from the um, trace, this is the point where the capacitor is charging to from the output of the bridge rectifier. And instead of maintaining that, so it's a flat line, at the supply voltage, um, the load across the capacitor is actually discharging the capacitor very quickly because it's failed in retaining its capacitance and then it's immediately coming back up again to be charged at this point. So really the capacitor is ineffective at the moment and it can cause all sorts of instability issues, problems with uh, digital circuitry not having an adequately stable supply, uh, problems with the RF circuits and stability of the oscillators and indeed that capacitor could indeed just go bang. Um, it's already got two terminals at the at the top which are, are doing that at the moment so it's ready for replacement so we'll switch it off and um, we'll carry out a repair. So again basic sort of fault uh, with major consequences I mean if you've got this in a in an airfield as your primary means of communication between an aircraft and, and your ground station or air traffic control uh, you would obviously have uh, not just one but several of these maybe on different frequencies and obviously for diverse resilience you wouldn't just rely on one unit although it's fair to say that some smaller airfields do rely on just the one unit um, and they may have one 
spare in a cupboard somewhere or in a spares rack but not actively on hot standby um, so it's always worth if you've got equipment like this that's critical in nature that's essential in your operations that you get it checked out annually at least um, by someone like myself who can make sure that it continues to operate because if this failed uh, while it's in service you wouldn't necessarily know until you know something uh, drastic may have happened unless you check it on a regular basis so that's just a, a quick rundown of a, a park air aircraft um, transceiver for air traffic control thank you